Welcome to another ArchLine XP tutorial. My name is Hendrik and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do skirtings. Now a skirting is generally uh, a board that covers the lowest part of an interior wall. Um, generally its purpose is to cover the joint between the wall surface and the floor. Um, it generally also covers the uneven edge uh, as the flooring meets the wall and it protects from kicks, abrasion and furniture um, and can also serve as a decorative molding. So in this example um, I'm going to be showing you how to crea create uh, automatic uh, skirtings in ArchLine. So if we have a look at this one we've already created we're going to delete this so I can show you how to do it okay so we can see our walls have no skirtings around and we have an enclosed region um, so wherever the walls are enclosing a region this is where the skirtings are going to appear so on the interior tab we're just gonna go to sweep and we're gonna go to auto molding now we're just going to click on our surface and we're just going to modify the molding as we can see it's not exactly where we want it to be so we're just gonna go like this as we can see it's already gone through all our enclosed rooms and it's created a molding for us now what we need to do is we need to go on the settings and we need to adjust where it's basically where it's extruding from so we're gonna go modify profile and we're just quickly going to have a look. Okay, so we can see here it's 200 by 50. Okay, so we can also see that here, 200 by 50. So we're going to change the dimension um, and make it a bit lower. We're going to make it 25 by maybe, we'll make it by 100. Okay, we'll just go back and first, firstly adjust where our molding is being extruded from. So we're going to go on this gear icon and as we can see this is clicked to extrude from the middle. We don't want this to be our reference point. We want our reference point to be right here on the corner. So we're just going to leave it like that. So let's just have a look. So we just need to adjust it to the other corner so we're just going to go there again and we're going to click on this corner okay so now we have our skirting now what we can do um, we can see that the floor is set to a hundred mil above the ground floor so what we're going to do is we're going to just adjust this to meet our floor finish so we have our skirting right here and we might delete some of the edges so we're just gonna go through this and just delete some of these edges that we don't need we're just gonna click left click and delete so we might leave that like that and we'll just delete some of these edges so for this edge we we can see we want to delete this part and what you can also do is you can actually change where the nodes are appearing so we can actually adjust this if you left click we can change the length of the node or the length of the line and we're gonna get it to match the length of this part of the wall so we have some tiling on a wall over here so what we want to do is we're going to delete this part and we're just going to click delete we can see here we have a door and we don't want our skirting all the way through there so we're just going to left click and we're going to insert a node and we're just going to hold shift we'll just try that again we're just going to firstly insert a node and we're just going to move this node to the side move node 
and we're just going to move it in line with the door frame and we'll do the same for the other side so we'll just click we'll just create a node anywhere and we're going to move this node while we hold shift we're just going to make sure it's on this horizontal line so we just hold shift and click and then we're going to click on this edge and we're going to click delete part so here we have our skirting and we can see it aligns quite nicely so what we might do now is we might just adjust the sizing and the color so what we're going to do we're just going to click on it and we're going to go to this edit we're going to change it to bright white and we're going to change the width to 10 and we're going to change the height to maybe 80 so now we have something more realistic so we're just going to go through our our um, floor plan we can actually do our do this on a floor plan as well so as you can see right on the edges is where our skirting is located so this can either be do, be done from a 3D view or from a floor plan view so what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this part and we're going to it's what's called a append line we're going to click on it append line and we're just going to add our skirting to this part and we're going to do the same on the other side we're going to go append line we're going to add it like that what we can also do is we can make it go to the inside of this wall by clicking append line again and we can go to the inside we'll just go on our 3d view just to have a quick just a quick view of what we're doing okay so we can see here this is where our skirting is ending so we can do the other side as well so we can just go again on our floor plan and we can click on the skirting and we can click a pen line and we'll just move it hold shift and just move it straight so now we have our skirting ending quite nicely so we want to delete this part so again we're just going to insert node click it to the edge insert another node and click it to that edge and then we're just going to delete this line so now we can see in our floor plan view that we have it ending right at the edge now we can bring it right into the corner if we want to so we'll just go like that again and we're going to delete this one as well just delete that and we're going to append this one and we can make it go into the corner right there we can do the same for this side we can go append line and we can go append line again so we're just going to do the same on this side just to make it look a bit neater I'm going to take it in like that and take it into this corner so now quite easily we've created an entire room full of skirtings and we can quickly have a look at what we've created and we can see it, it all looks quite nice so if, you if you've liked this tutorial, please leave a like below and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.